Software Bill of Material, or SBOM, is a machine-readable inventory of the third-party components used in software products in your environment, as well as the supply chain relationships between them. It's important for organizations to understand their SBOMs because it allows them to mitigate risks posed by vulnerabilities in things like open source software. The ServiceNow SBOM workspace imports BOM files and organizes the information in a way that easily presents the risk exposure to the environment and allows organizations to quickly mitigate the risks. To begin, we need to import BOM files into the SBOM workspace. This can be done both automatically via an API, CI/CD tools like Jenkins are an example of this, and manually by clicking the Upload BOM button and importing a spreadsheet. Moving on to the home screen, we're presented with information about the different entities. Now it's worth noting that SBOM isn't just about homegrown applications. We can also upload BOMs for commercial applications, containers, libraries, firmware, frameworks, and more. We're presented a list of the BOM entities, which gives us information about when they're uploaded, the number of open source components, any vulnerabilities, and AVIs that were created. Now there could be hundreds, if not thousands of vulnerabilities that are associated with bombs, but if everything is a critical vulnerability, then nothing is. AVIs are a way for organizations to automatically create findings for the most critical vulnerabilities to the organization itself which will then allow them to take action on those first. Clicking on one of these entities, we see that the application is dependent on all of these open source libraries. We also see the version, the group, the license under which it's available, and the package URL, which is a unique identifier. We want to know which vulnerabilities are known for this application. And here we can see details about the vulnerability, including the CVE, attack vectors, and what skill level is required to exploit the vulnerability. When we create findings for high-risk vulnerabilities on Crown Jewel applications, for example, we can see them here. This includes information like the risk score, risk rating, what their disposition is, remediation target date, and to whom they've been assigned. Under the component list, we can see every component that's being used in the environment, their versions, how many BOM applications are using the component, and more. By sorting BOM entity count, we can see the top components used in the environment. SBOM helps to surface all of the relevant information to organizations to help them understand their overall risk. The SBOM workspace can also be used to track down zero-day vulnerabilities. We can search to quickly see how many BOM entities are using a vulnerable component using information provided in a zero-day security advisory. Let's look at our old friend Log4j. We can immediately see that there are three applications using the component. This gives the organization a quick and easy way to understand what their risk exposure is. Instead of scrambling to find the different places where a vulnerable component might be exposed. Lastly, Let's look at how we can create the findings to meet your specific criteria. The creation rules help organizations prioritize what's most critical to them. So for example, we can build a rule to automatically create findings for components like Log4j that are on critical applications. This allows the organizations to really hone in on what's most at risk to them. With the ServiceNow Software Bill of Materials workspace, organizations like yours can be empowered to more effectively manage their risk exposure. And this is all built on the power of the ServiceNow platform. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at www.servicenow.com. Thank you.